starting to that that were starting to be deployed. So today I'm I'm not going to talk specifically about the robot evaluation method that we uh, developed to um, go through the evaluation of these robots, but instead I want to focus specifically on the teaching of the contributions of this research through this new course uh, C327 Construction Robotics. Um, and of course, this is not the, the first construction robotics course. We have seen um, a few universities that have already identified the need for including construction robotics education within civil engineering and also architecture programs. Uh, our Specifically for our class, we developed a project-based curriculum as a way to, um, really as a mechanism to enhance this ecosystem from research to practice. So this course was a 10 week course um, with two 90 minute lectures per week. Um, here is the website of the course. If you're curious after you can access the full syllabus and a bit of more details. Um, the main goals of the course were to be able to introduce on-site construction robots uh, that were already being deployed both from uh, in industry, but also robots that were uh, being developed from academia. Um, assess these robots using the consistent evaluation method um, become familiar with state-of-the-art research like human robot collaboration, and also to connect this robot application with uh, to the project objectives, deploying frameworks like the equity, economy, and ecology, and also BDC framework. So, and one of the key components of the class is the course project that matched uh, general contractors the uh, robot companies and two graduate students to evaluate through these 10 weeks, the safety quality schedule and cost impacts of robots. Um, we so we um, pro the students worked independently throughout eight of the 10 weeks and they were given a, a, a blank template of the framework. And um, they, um, and, uh, and they had to basically work without showing each other their evaluations. And in the last two weeks of the class, they contrasted the results um, and also prepare a final presentation that was attended by all the industry partners. Obviously, this we saw really a lot of benefits from this like student and professional collaboration, which really enriched both parties. On the one side, for the students, it was a way of not just having an abstract project of evaluating a robot, but they could really ground it in a real construction project. And I think also from, from the professional perspective, um, the students were able to provide a rich kind of framework understanding for the evaluation. And in some ways, even like access a lot of details from the robot companies that we saw that maybe wouldn't be so easy to attain from the construction company's perspective. For the last two offerings of the class, we have selected many different kinds of robots uh, being deployed all over the world. Uh, some multitask, some single task robot, interior, exterior, um, different kinds of mobility. Um, here is a snapshot of all the previous industry partners. And because we are using this kind of consistent evaluation method, we could also track what are the impacts of all of these robots uh, in terms of safety, quality, schedule, and cost um, for, of course, the, the project selected. And the overall effort was about 20 to 30 hours per grad students, specifically working on the evaluation. So we asked them to keep track of all the hours spent in the project. And for industry partners, the commitment was around five hours over this period of 10 weeks. And the students really achieved pretty detailed analysis in this limited time. And it also allowed us as researchers to kind of evaluate 10 different robot use cases in one quarter. This is one of the examples that we saw in the class. We analyzed this material handling robot from Obayashi, uh, developed together with Stockling uh, for an office building in Japan. And the kind of results that the students achieved through this industry collaboration, uh, for example, uh, focus on what could be the safety impacts on uh, reducing material handling um, injuries, uh, the reduction of rework because this robots, for example, uses a material management system to automate where uh, the materials need to be delivered. Um, they also track kind of schedule impacts, productivity, um, and cost reduction as well. And then also, of course, focus on what are kind of special requirements of these robots to be compatible and to be able to operate in the project. For example, in this case, having a 
special lift and clean and, and clear uh, flood floors. So overall, in, in this, this is a really project-based course. We wanted to connect real-world applications with uh, construction robotics research. Uh, we really emphasize uh, what are the managerial opportunities and also the practical limitations of robots. Um, students that didn't necessarily have any prior knowledge in robotics were able to um, engage in really like meaningful work throughout the class, but even after the class through internships and many of them um, mentioned that they would like to participate in future research opportunities uh, beyond the class. In terms of curriculum implementation challenges, of course, it does put a lot of pressure in being able to engage many industry professionals and to uh, develop this technology and project match from the general contractors with the robots. So of course, a lot of the success of the class is based on that participation from industry. Um, and then finally, in terms of next steps, we uh, have been able to get a, a couple of students, uh, obviously the classes within the civil and environmental engineering uh, grad, grad school, but we have been able to engage a couple of students from mechanical engineering, computer science, and in the future, we do wanna try to engage more because obviously that enriches the multidisciplinary perspectives of the class. And we'll uh, also continue to extend the number of uh, kinds of projects and, and robots uh, across the world. Um, please reach out if you're curious about the class, if you would like to kind of implement part of this curriculum in your own university, or if you're a robot company, or a contractor in the audience and would like to participate in the next offering where we still haven't started making the pairings, but yeah, please reach out. And again, that's the website of the class if you wanna take a deeper look. Um, so thank you. We look forward to your questions. Thank you. Very, thank you very much. Very interesting presentation and uh, also a very interesting course. And uh, so any questions for Cynthia? Uh, this is uh, Benny. Can I can I ask yeah, a question? Benny. Sure. Uh, 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 thank you, Cynthia and Martin, for this interesting uh, case study of the of the course. Uh, uh, well, I have one uh, the question about uh, how you uh, conduct this uh, project. So these uh, students go to construction site, see how the robot works, or is it just based on videos? How how exactly is it done? So. In, in some cases, the students have been able to go to the construction site and really uh, measure the, uh, the workers in the field and contrast the traditional like production data to the robot data. Even in some cases, we were able to bring the robot to the construction site. But of course, because it's only 10 weeks and sometimes due to like logistics and COVID and all of that, it's sometimes not possible to bring students to, to the real project. So then we rely on that collaboration. So the industry partner maybe goes to the project or has data already collected from the project that um, they can provide to the students. Oh, okay, right. Uh, so uh, you, uh, do you also look at uh, simulation to find out what is the uh, potential for the robot on a, on a construction site? Do you, is that part of the course evaluation of uh, the potential to save time, cost and all that? Yeah. For example, in the case that we showed for Obayashi, something that we wanted to really play around was with the fact of what happens if we have two robots working also during the night shift. And we do those kind of uh, simulations as well to understand what could be the impact of the of the robot. Yeah, I think my next uh, presentation deals with this uh, issue of simulation. So it will be interesting to see. OK, right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Benny. Uh, any other questions? Yeah. Hi, this uh, is uh, yeah, Jenson, please. Yeah. Uh, please go ahead, Jenson. Hi, and Professor Martin. Uh, uh, excellent presentation. Uh, I have a similar question with Professor uh, like Professor Benny. Uh, like for uh, um, uh, deploying students on construction sites, you need to have a collaboration with that before the course starts, or you need to tell them like students will be coming to the sites. Is that kind of a pre-activity you do before the course? So we start like about, I would say, like a quarter before we start the class, engaging with the industry professionals to understand what could be a good project to study, if they already have deployed a robot or are ongoing in a pilot project that they could uh, share the data with the class or offer the project for a side visit. So we do, I think, yeah, on, on the side of the teaching team, it, that's 
it, it starts a little bit earlier. But from the student side, they basically on the first week of the class, they, we show them all the possible uh, pairings. So those are already established and they only kind of pick that. And we do like a big networking session with all the industry partners and they in, get introduced to the students. And from then on, they kind of, um, the students coordinate directly with them. Okay. Sounds like an excellent opportunity for the students. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Jay, so maybe a short question from, from your side. Yeah, thank you, Zhenghua. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Cynthia and Martin, for the uh, very nice presentation. I, I have a quick, really short question. So is there any pr uh, prerequisites for using this curriculum? I saw it's a junior level curriculum. I would say for somebody totally new to construction, it would be maybe a little challenging, although we have had uh, students from uh, mechanical engineering CS, but they have a technical background. So I think um, understanding, having an idea of like what is the schedule and the cost estimate mm. and, and, you know, the sort of basic yeah. um, tools and methods like that. Um, but after that, I think uh, if the student is really interested, which they would be if they choose this class um then they can handle the rest great great say. yeah i'll be interested to learn more about your curriculum i'm teaching a technology class in the fall yeah i think all thank of you. us all of us are interested <laughs> great thank you uh, that, that would be awesome because we could we could learn so much more about the different kind of robots and, and really solidify also the you know comparison method that would be fantastic uh, if I you had more, more of you working like that i'm, I'm sorry as a due to the time limit maybe we need to move to the next paper so, and only one uh, question, please, if this is possible, no? You can put it in the chat. We can answer yeah, please, that or the Q&A. Yeah. 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 So on the, our next paper, the topic is about K-12 